Okay, so we're gonna go to go up. Let's select battery, even though it's a brand new battery. Uh, okay. Now it says, turn on your headlight. Turn on your headlight. So headlight is on. And then continue. Wait 20 seconds. And then the other part of it is um, it requires you to actually turn the vehicle over, which I couldn't do because my battery was dead. La batteria. So we're almost there. And then it's going to say turn off your headlights. Headlights are off. Next. Start your engine one time. For 30 seconds, if you don't start the engine, the task cannot be performed. Okay. So. One time. Good. So there you go. The battery is good. So that was simple. Um, now we're going to go to the menu. Which is right here. And we're going to hit that one check the alternator engine needs to be running at least normal temperature to begin this test start engine turn on your headlights do not perform this test on smart ele alternators hybrids okay <clears throat> so we're gonna turn the vehicle on and let it run for a bit So we're gonna wait until the vehicle warms up, which takes a minute, so I'm gonna have to pause this. Right. Okay, looks like we are at operating temperatures, so let's go ahead and do the test. Okay, so now it wants me to wrap it up to about 2000 RPM and hold it. You can go a little over, it's fine. As long as it's just over 2,000, and if you drop lower than that, the car will um, it will say, "Hey, stop it, go higher." Let's just turn off the headlights. So, my alternator is good. Charging voltage within specification, so 14.57 volts. So, alternator is good. So, yeah, which I knew my alternator was good. It was just the battery was shot for some reason. I mean, it, it is a six year or whatever, five and a half year battery. But anyway, now you know. Um, now, this scan tool also has like a bunch of different things that you can do with it. Um, especially if you're buying a car and you want to go make sure that they didn't reset the lights. Um, let me see here. So if you go to uh, drive cycle procedures, oops. So if you go to complete monitors, so this is pretty much everything. If any of these are on, it means that they uh, they either reset it with the scan tool or um, they unplug the battery and this one will not complete. So when all this stuff is not actually green, you will fail the emissions test. And when you buy a used car, you usually have to take it in for emissions, especially if you live in one of these states like California, where you do need, um, you need to have emissions or whatever. It, the emission standard is very strict over here. So when you're buying a car, have your scan tool or take it to a mechanic to scan the, the ECU, make sure there's no codes. Um, otherwise, you know, you got to deal with it. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, have a good one. I'm out.